Hi guys, my name is Borro Dante. Let's check out Paintstorm Studio 2.0. So as I mentioned in the previous video, a couple of days ago, there was a big update apparently. I don't know when, I just opened the program in the previous episode and it told me that there is an update. And it turned out to be a huge one. So the most awesome part is... It happened. It happened. We now have the GPU acceleration with OpenGL and everything. You know, that thing that makes Photoshop super fast. So I just wanted to make an episode looking into it, testing out the performance and maybe switching to this program because this was number one program that I really, really wanted to make this happen to improve performance with GPU. And it happened so quickly, I'm like super happy now. There's a little bunch of different other improvements, including, as you can see, the interface has cool gradients that you can set up in the settings. But generally, let's open actually options. The settings are segregated now. And in performance, there's enable large canvases. I'm not sure, like it's not recommended. I'm not sure how big of a canvases we're talking about because I just created 6 by 5k and it didn't say anything. So that's not what the big canvas is. So these are the settings mostly concerning the RAM, I suppose. But here, here is the main awesomeness. OpenGL. Sharpening when you zoom out to have a better visualization of the picture when you scale it down. Pixelate on zoom in, the same thing Photoshop has, but in here we get to decide when exactly the pixels get sharp. GPU acceleration, auto disable GPU for small brushes. That means that in the settings for initially small brushes, the checkbox for GPU will be off. You can turn it on and off for each brush at any moment which is kind of cool because GPU thing needs certain adjustments and Photoshop also has them under the hood, not under the hood, in the preferences. I've talked about that in the Photoshop performance video. GPU for bristle brushes. These are still kind of slow, but bristle brushes are a completely different thing. The most important part is the custom shape actually pattern brushes as they are. So let's take a look. Again, this is a huge canvas, am I correct? Canvas size, 6K by 5K. Here's the GPU button, the new one. It's turned off for the small pencil brush. So let's try potato. I'm gonna set up the spacing cause I messed it up. So this seems like a good spacing, right? Nope, not really. Okay, fixation, what's up with that? Okay, this seems like a good quality for the brush. And yeah, let's not forget, it's always a blending brush too. And blending brushes, even in Photoshop, they're not exactly super fast. So let's zoom out. And this is the biggest size for the brush, still, sadly. But I think it's time for the developers to make the size much bigger than that. Because this is getting really fast, although this is too dense. I'm still trying to figure out how the spacing works with this fixation or without it. Like, I'm still making it much bigger and it's... Uh, there we go, there's the step. And right now it seems to be completely smooth. Yeah, in Photoshop, if I would scale up the brush from that point as we set it up when it was small, it would look like this when it's bigger. There's like a percentage dependence. And in here, fixation does this, like I have to change it manually. And without fixation, it's kind of weird, it's always too big. I'm not sure. I have to figure that out yet, but the point is, look at this performance. This is insane. This is a blending, custom-shaped, organic, gluten-free BMP brush with two types of blending applied, blur and extend color. Extend color just smears around in the direction and blur just does the actual soft average blending like this and you can use both of them at the same time and have amazing effect of blending this is the greatest day of all the days i seriously think that this may be faster than in photoshop although this is not a huge size of the brush i mean if we zoom in this is the real size this is pretty impressive for not photoshop <laughs> 
for Photoshop it would be just the way it works. So this is the way Paintstorm Studio works now. Oh my god. Yeah, you see the step. This is with fixation. I didn't change anything, I just changed the size and the step is now weird. So removing fixation is gonna be like dependent on the size, right? If I make it huge, it's yeah, the same step comparing to the scale. But if we make it smaller and smaller, wow, this is the best color to make the video with. Okay, still see the step and it's 0.07. That's 7%, I suppose. What if we actually do like 1%? Yeah, you see, there's still a huge step. And even zero, which is, I have no idea what that means, step is zero. But yeah, we can still see the step. So it would be cool if the spacing without fixation would have the ability to be denser than that. But when we scale down, this is 100% zoom on the canvas. Yeah, on a, on a small size of the brush, it works well with the spacing. But the performance, oh my god, this is like number one, like maybe the only thing that I had a problem with that couldn't let me keep working in this program because otherwise I love everything about it. I think so, I had no chance to test it further, but it seems like it and right now we can work. It would be cool to have like uh, some extra work on the size adjustments and the spacing working with the size, meaning it would be good to have the brush bigger than this and with appropriate spacing adjustments. <laughs> but even like this, I think it's pretty comfortable to work with. So let's test GPU and no GPU. So this is the speed right now, basically real time strokes and it's all blending folks. And let's do no GPU now. Yep, that's what it was like before. This is why I couldn't work with it. It was this slow on this size. This is a different program now. So cool. But there was another thing. Without GPU, it used to be faster when you turn the brush into the bristle brush. So now I turned on bristle, no GPU. Well, I'm not gonna say that it's faster, of course. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Maybe I used to make less of a dense bristles. Well, yeah, it gets faster that way, but still pretty much of an ordeal. So let's turn on GPU for the bristle mode. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a bristle brush now. Oh, it is. It's just incredibly dense. Ah, it has a different setup even. Like to make the brush not that bristly, you have to go really low now. Yeah, this is definitely a lot faster as well, even with bristles. And it's cool that you can go so dense. Oh no, wait, it kind of changed. I think it was some kind of a glitch of the interface. Now it's always very rare. <laughs> yeah, I think. And it's super dense now. I think there's some kind of glitch. Let's not forget, this is 2.0 version, so there may be some glitches. Yeah, it has some problems with changing the density of the bristles with GPU on. But even with this incredible density of the bristles, it's still so much faster. Oh, well, this looks like a decent density for the bristles. You can see them and they work nicely together. Yeah, I really choose to work without any bristles though. This blending is much more fun for me. So maybe, just maybe, we will paint Ichiorette's Jeremy in Paintstorm Studio now. Fingers crossed. So here's the claw brush, the native claw Canada in Paintstorm Studio. Beautiful. So beautiful. Basically, this is the main message of this video. So beautiful. So fast. But really, we can make brushes a lot bigger now. Also, they say there's a lot of new brushes and textures in the program. Let's take a look. I have no idea what's new in here, though. <laughs> a cool brick brush. I think I, I remember this one, it's not new. Critical error. 
try to save your work. Well, I can't. Oh, there we go. Uh, yes, please, save my masterpiece. Do you want to save workspace? How considerate of you. Not recommended. Well, then no. <laughs> I didn't change much in the workspace anyway. But yeah, some crashes and some glitches are expected in the 0 .0 version. Oh, a nice logo in the loading screen. Autosave. Yes, please. This is like a first class crashing. Where's my champagne, Painstorm? Oh, we're crashing when I select this brush, this knife thing. Hmm, I wonder why. GPU painting and symmetry. This is some hardcore stuff. It's working slower, of course. What do you see in this picture? Seriously, tell me. <laughs> like this. Okay, so I guess this is about it. I don't know, some brushes make some crashes. Some kind of glitches with the amount of bristles when you change the settings with GPU on. But I think this is the kind of stuff that will be fixed soon. The main problem is gone. So, seriously, we're gonna try to paint each your as Jeremy in Paintstorm Studio now. I wonder if it became more expensive on their website since the version 2.0 is here. Uh, not really, no. Lifetime license, $19. Two licenses, $29. So, I think this is a big deal. No one paid me for this video, I'm just really happy. <laughs> like, I'm recommending this program again, I guess. But still, very cautiously, let's see how the things will go with painting something huge. And then, we'll be able to make some conclusions. But for now, I'm pretty much happy. I'm potentially happy. Seriously, considering that there's blending in the brush, I think it may be faster than Photoshop. Okay, let's compare. Let's compare. Let's do that. Let's go nerdy. Oh yeah, let's not forget how hard it is to make it actually paint in opaque enough way. Basically impossible, actually. So this is here, 1000 size. And this is how slow Photoshop is when the brush is blending. It's just a different brush. If we take this one, 1000 pixels. It's much faster. Still kind of slow. What are you? You're embarrassing yourself right now, Photoshop. Okay, the density is 5. Okay, this is really weird. Is it actually much faster than Photoshop with blending brushes? This is insane. Not to mention there's two types of blending and a full control of how much color you actually put on the canvas. And there's this special ability brush. Spacing 10%. Well, there are obvious steps now. It's getting faster, but this is much better. Wow, it's actually working faster than Photoshop on the same size of the brush and such with blending on. Actually, I double-checked and in Paintstorm, 1000 units equals about 600 pixels in Photoshop. So, the brush in Photoshop was almost twice as big. But I checked it right now in Photoshop at 600 pixels and it's still very slow. So, nothing really changed. Well, there you have it. Paintstorm Studio is now faster than Photoshop. What a day to be alive. Okay, I have things to do. Okay, so there's that. This guy is happy. Everything's awesome. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Accelerate. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to move all of the brushes here. Jesus.